Hey guys, it's Keandra, and if you want to see how I got my hair like this, then make sure you stay tuned. Hey y'all, it's Keandra, and I'm back with another video. So this video is brought to you by Yolova Hair, and they sent me a wig to review. So let's get into the unboxing. So this is how the wig comes. It has really, really nice um, packaging. It says Born for Beauty. Yeah, Born for Beauty. And this is a lasting natural looking solution. And it has your lover down at the bottom. So let's unbox this wig. And then I love how it has the little pull out. Okay. Hold on. Let me see what fell. Hold up. It does come with some goodies. So you do get some lashes which i can't really see what they look oh i guess i could just take this off yeah i come with these lashes and some lash glue <laughs> and uh and then you get a, a wig cap as well and then you have the wig and it comes with some tweezers so once you take the wig out the bag this is what it looks like and I should have a um, 22 inch um, deep wave 5x5 five five closure wig. So yes, this is what it's giving. I'm trying to get the little hairnet off. Okay, so on the inside you do get two combs on the side, one in the back, and then well, one behind the closure and then one at the back as well as adjustable straps so let me go ahead and hook these adjustable straps these are kind of hard hold on fresh wig problems there we go okay just make it nice and snug it does come with um some baby hair that looks like and it looks like it's semi pre-plucked now they do have um looking at it, the knots are not bleached and i don't feel like bleaching them today but in the future probably because they're pretty dark this is the wig this is this wear crunchy <laughs> form it's super duper soft you guys and as you can see my hands are running straight through it and of course you know curly hair is going to shed so I did get a couple of strands, but nothing too crazy. So let's install this wig. All right, so fun fact, I no longer do the ball cap method. I've just realized there's really no point in it for me. Like I don't, I think I was doing it because every other YouTuber was doing it, but I really don't see the point of it. So if you are like a pro at ball cap methods, then let me know in the comments, what's the point of them, but I, stopped doing them and my wigs have looked the exact same so <laughs> but that being said i'm not going through that um real quick i'm going to take some foundation and then i'm going to take my foundation brush i have so many brushes and i need to wash them and i'm gonna put some actually let me put on my hand first then dab it and i'm just going to put it all on the lace also i'm over um frontals <laughs> like for me i can never get it to properly fit my head anyway and then the side tabs are never glued down so whenever this company reached out to me i was like yo i'm going back to closures like i'm this close from going back to sewing's with leave out like that's how over frontals i am plus you guys know i do have scalp psoriasis so like it's just always like a big deal I need to get a napkin i'm using everything but i'm doing a it's a mess over here anyway um i do have scalp psoriasis so it's like hell always trying to keep my scalp from flaking and just um i did my makeup really good today anyway 
um just like doing um <laughs> i'm trying to use the axis okay cool and just wearing frontals is it irritates my scalp so yeah i'm over that not doing that anymore not doing the ball cap no more i'm just doing strictly closure wigs unless i have another option but that's my preference so i'm gonna put the wig on I'll insert the back of the clip and then i'm gonna do the sides and i can already tell you now this wig fits so good like you know like when you have your sides and they like go over your ear this does not do that so i'm gonna pull it up a little bit and if you want it you could probably wear this wig glueless so i do like that so what i'm going to do now is hot comb the wig back so i can get this lace together because i'll be honest i don't know if i want to do a middle part or a side part or even a flip over method um personally curly hair and middle parts i don't think they look good on me um so my signature is always a side part or a flip over but we gonna see if i push it back how i really kind of feel afterwards trying to make sure my hot comb don't burn nothing so i'm gonna bring it forward put it in a ponytail And then I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to get my Gossipy Glue Spray. Actually, no. I'm going to get my Gorilla Snot. Let's do that. I'm just going to take a little bit of it. Just because I don't feel like having spray running all the way down my forehead. And I'm just going to put it here. Now I'm putting this above or in front of my hairline because I want my edges. I mean, I have a low hairline, so some of my edges are still gonna be here, but most of them are slicked back already under my wig cap. So yeah, so I'm gonna put that at the bottom. And then I'm gonna press it in And then I'm going to take my Got To Be Glue Spray and spray it on top. Okay, the next I'm going to take my elastic band and just tie that down. And I'm gonna leave that on for like 10, 15 minutes. And then I'll come back later. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my wide tooth comb and I'm gonna comb it out just to see if I really wanna wet it. Now this is supposed to be 22 inches. It's looking like 18, but it is dry. So I'm assuming like if it was wet, it would probably, um, be longer and i don't know if i want a middle part which i think would be cute let me see a middle part i think a middle part would be cute because maybe i shouldn't have calmed it out too much but i've always wanted like shoulder length Kelly Rowland, big, Tiana Taylor, like curly hair. Like I'm thinking like I could get my wand and like curl it. Okay, so that's what like a middle part will look like. Or, there we go, that's the middle. Or, I don't know. I think that'd be cute. So, 
Hmm. Okay, so let me see my flat iron. Not my flat iron, my hot comb. It tried to flatten it out a little bit. I do want this to be pushed back. Comb this as well. And let me see. I'm so scared to put water on this, you guys. But I like this. I really do. So... What I'm going to go ahead and do now, let me see if this is dry. Seems pretty dry. Okay, so now we're going to cut the lace. I'm going to put these baby hairs back. And do I have, normally I would go in with a razor. Let me see if I have a razor. I should have a razor in here. Because this is why I do my hair. There we go. Okay, I found the razor. What I'm going to do is cut it up the middle. Okay. I'm gonna take my razor. I'm gonna cut that off. And then this part, I'm gonna cut it. Okay, so one side done. Look at those baby hairs. Also, be careful of the ends because they do have like those little like bands i don't know it's weird but you gotta cut those off okay and then i'm gonna do the other thing other side where are my clips here we go and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off first. Okay. All right, so the lace is off. These are the baby hairs that came with the wig. And I'm going to cut those. And luckily they didn't do a lot. Just enough. And then I'm going to take some foaming lotion. Sorry y'all. There, The dumpster is literally right by my house. And they're emptying the dumpsters. Anyways, I'm going to take it and swoop them into place okay these right here are mine so i'm gonna need something stronger than some than some foam i think i'm gonna use let's use some some gorilla snot just a little bit those and swoop these okay that's one side y'all it don't look the best y'all I'm not good with the whole baby hairs that is not my thing it's not this looks actually a mess Okay, let me figure this out and I'm gonna come back. All right, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. This look a hot ass mess, but it's gonna come together. So anyways, so I'm gonna take some powder, my face powder. And these baby hairs, I'm not gonna stress it because 
they not even gonna be seen anyway. And I'm just gonna put some powder in my part. The only white parts are skinny parts, cause I'll be honest, I like wide parts, but I can never get mine as wide as I want it, but whatever. Okay, so this is the hair. Hmm. I like the hair. I don't know, I like these baby hairs. I need to figure out if I need them to go all the way across. Cause these two swoops, they not, they not doing it for me. I don't, I don't, I don't like them. I'm gonna see what happens if I cut them super duper short. Or just not have any at all. I really don't need baby hairs. This lace blends in really good, especially for someone who didn't bleach the knots. The lace is actually not that bad. See, this is all, this is the real. This is the stuff that most influencers cut out of the videos. But nah, I'm gonna leave them. Cause I want y'all to see that I don't do hair. So when people be asking me like, oh, can you do my hair? No, I can't. Cause I can barely do my own. Ugh. Okay. I like that better. One little swoop and nothing too major for, there we go. One little swoop. And then all this stuff, we just gonna keep it. Cool. Okay. Cool. This will, y'all. This is what we doing. I can't do the baby hairs. I I just can't. So, gonna push that back. Okay, same thing over here. Cool. And I think that's cute. What y'all think? Okay, so now we gotta figure out what I'm gonna do to these curls because it's cute. Let me fluff them so that they look together. Not that it needs to be tamed, but I feel like it's kind of frizzy. So I'm gonna just do some, some light mousse. Light mousse. That's cute. Okay, let's do the other side. And this is the hair in a middle part, which I love. I feel like I need to go get some hoops. Maybe not. I feel like hoops would be cuter. But this is the hair in a middle part. I think I kind of want to try the side part, so I'm going to be back. So now I want to see what it looks like in a side part, which is kind of like my... Um, what is it? My comfort zone. Cause I like it like this, but it's a lot. It's a lot. So normally I wear my side parts on this side. So I'm just gonna see what it looks like if I comb it over. You know, a nice little. It doesn't have to be straight because it is curly hair. Okay, okay. So, I don't know if it's long enough. Let's see. Okay. Also, I 
Thank God for hot combs. Uh oh. Okay, so now that I've pushed it back, this is what it would look like. Now I need my foam again. I'm trying to tame this into the hair. Like so. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at those curls. Okay, I'm already feeling the side part. I feel it. I already, I already like the side part. Um. Okay. So this is that. Only thing I would add is um sorry guys i get so into my hair i totally forget about the camera only thing i would add and what i will say it is shedding y'all it's shedding um not like in an annoying way but in a kind of a lot way okay i feel like i need baby hairs so let's try this again even though feel like okay i'm gonna try those oh gosh okay that one little swoop is a low-key trash but hey There we go. And that's that. I kind of like the side part, y'all. Y'all let me know down in the description box below if you guys like the side part or the middle. Um, I know me. I know my face. And I think I look better with side parts for sure. Also, what I will say, because I did say this was 22 inches, but it does look short. The more product I add, or the more like moisture, it does elongate. So, I know that when I wet it, it's going to be fire. Like, it's going to be cool. But this is the hair, literally straight out the pack. I like this eye part. That's my vote. I like the side part. All right, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you are interested in this hair, I will have the link in the description box below. I want to thank your love of hair for sending me this hair to review. And yeah, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys next time. Bye.